Hi, Janelle. Hi. Hi, Tiff. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, we... we the, like, fucking Jojo bend? No, I have no idea. I could, I could if I wanted to. So, we are at Anime so Milwaukee. This is, this is day one. We've been walking around for a couple hours because um, nothing really opened until about an hour ago. And we went to our first autograph session and it got canceled and pushed back till seven o'clock. So now we're gonna walk around with basically twiddling our thumbs for the next couple hours because why not? There's so many people here. I mean, it's gonna be worse tomorrow, but. Hey everybody, it's Danielle. This is supposed to be my Anime Milwaukee vlog where I was gonna show you me walking around the convention and things like that. However, I forgot to vlog most of the convention. So I have a couple little bits and stuff that I can show you guys, but uh, long story short, I, I haven't got the hang of vlogging in public yet. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about it. So I went to Anime Milwaukee 2017 in Milwaukee. I had a great time. I got to meet a bunch of new cool voice actors that I've never met before and I just had a lot of fun like I usually do. So it's my third year going to Anime Milwaukee and as always I usually just have a lot of fun seeing everybody in different cosplays, going to actor panels, getting to meet various voice actors and getting stuff signed. It's always a lot of fun to do that. Conventions are a lot of fun in general and then when I get the opportunity to go, I will go because it's just a blast. I went with Janelle this year and we met up with different friends and had a great time. Friday was a little bit more laid back. It's usually a lot of walking around trying to figure out where everything is at the convention. There were two actors this year that I was really excited to get the chance to meet. Um, one uh, was Matthew Mercer. He does the voice of Levi in Attack on Titan and he does various video game character voices. And I was also really excited to finally get an opportunity to meet Vic Mignogna who does Edward Elric in Full Metal Alchemist, he is Tamaki in Oran High School Host Club, and a bunch of other things. So I was really excited to get the opportunity to meet those two people. I got to meet both of them. Um, the Matthew Mercer part is kind of funny. Um, we were in his signing line when we found out that their flight was delayed and that they were not going to be at the signing at 5 o'clock but they were going to push it to 7 because they had just got to the hotel around 5 o'clock. Um, Janelle and I <clears throat> Janelle and I had actually uh, met like the cutoff of the people that could be for the signing. We ended up waiting from about 4.20 in the afternoon till um, about quarter after 7 uh, was when they showed, was when Matt Mercer and Marisha Ray showed up. It was a very long wait. <laughs> um, it was it was worth it though. They got to everybody in the room. They took pictures. They were really nice. They answered everybody's questions that they had. They were just really, really great about accommodating us fans that got to have to sit and wait. And we took a picture with Matt and Marisha and it was a lot of fun and it was super great and I'm, I think I'm always going to remember that because it was crazy. What the hell is my hand? I don't know. So we were in line from about 4 15, 4 20 to meet uh, Matthew Mercer and Marisha Ray and we just got out it's 10 to 9 it was insane and ridiculous and thank you Anime Milwaukee for literally letting us yeah. still go through it and thank you to um, Matt and Marisha for letting us like do that it was super great and awesome I didn't like vlog while we were in there because it was just hella awkward for a really long time mm -hmm. and we didn't know when it was going to be done we didn't know when it was going to start um so i didn't get a lot of stuff shot today because we were literally in there for almost five hours it was ridiculous yeah there was a storm down in california which delayed a lot of flights for the voice actors who were supposed to be here so there's about three who are who are scheduled to be here that are not coming because they cannot get a flight and uh, those two just came in today and they <laughs> moved the signing back a couple of hours um, because they needed to figure out if their family was doing okay and everything. Yeah, how but their home was and everything. Um, like uh, Vic Vignana was even late. Yeah. Uh, so we missed his signing because we were in the other one. Um, it's been a really long day yeah. and we're just gonna figure out what the hell is going on with life and what we're gonna do next. And it was it was a really great it was a really great experience meeting them for a couple of minutes and 
Um, we they, they really wanted to talk to you. Like they took their time. Oh yeah, we got we got like everybody. like handshakes, like some hefty yeah, handshakes. Yeah, I got to ask them a question, and they were really really nice. Yeah, there's some really awesome people, um, and yeah, it was really great. And my arm is getting tired already. <laughs> That's just how much nope is going on right now. There was a couple voice actors that couldn't make it because of weather in California, so I was bummed out about that, but the convention was still really fun. Saturday, Janelle and I dressed as Ninja Sex Party, and we did like gender bends, so we were the female versions of Danny Sexbang and Ninja Brian. We had tutus, and it was great. Um, lots of people really enjoyed our costume, and it's always fun when people would come up to us and ask who we were, or they'd clarify, or would get really excited when they saw us. It's always great when like someone can appreciate like what you what the work you put into your outfit. So that was great, and I had a lot of fun making our costumes. It was the first time I've ever made a tutu. It took forever, and uh, it was great because this was the first costume that we basically I made the the entire thing for, and it was really really fun. So it is day two of Anime Milwaukee, and um, we're getting food right now. And when we first got here, Janelle and I are Ninja Sex Party today, and we got stopped how many times? I can't. I don't know how to switch camera on this when it's front facing. No, come over here. Come over here. So how many times did we get stopped when we first got here? Three times, three three photos. It was great, and then when we were walking through the vendor hall, I swear so many people were like, it's Ninja Sex Party, and it was really great, and we were having a lot of fun, and we just had mac and cheese. It was pretty. I'm, ta I'm taking a break from the hood. <laughs> Cause she's so street, yo. Um, yeah, so, so we're taking a break, and I think we're gonna go take pictures of people and walk around some more. I also got to meet Austin Tyndall and Joel McDonnell. Um, signings are always fun. I like to always just tell the actors how much I appreciate their work and how awesome they are. Um, got some stuff signed by those guys. I also got to meet Vic Mignogna on Saturday. That was really, really fun. Um, he's such a sweetheart. Um, he took pictures with me and all my friends and it was great. And he is so smiley, like the entire time it was so happy and so positive and I definitely know why people say that he is like Captain Smiley because he was just grinning from ear to ear and it was really really great, a lot of fun. And this is like my new prized possession is, is, is this from Vic, so really? Like, uh, we, this is Zero from Vampire Night, which is the first anime that I ever watched, and it's the first manga I ever read, so this is really special to me, and uh, it's always really great when you can tell the people that you, the, like, tell people that are involved in something you really like how much it is, how much it means to you, like, and everything like that. I'm getting way too excited talking about this. It just means a lot when I have the opportunity to tell people how much I appreciate their work. It really, <clears throat> it really means a lot, and it's it's great to see them. I I totally understand that they're real people too, and they do everything that we do as humans. But it's just nice to have that interaction between between the actor and the fan. I had a lot of fun at Anime in Milwaukee. We went to the Critical Role panel with Matt Mercer and Marisha Ray. Travis Willingham and Laura Bailey couldn't be there, but they actually Skyped into the panel for about 20 minutes, which was really fun because they couldn't make it because of the weather, but they still wanted to be a part of the panel. And it was great. We got to ask a lot of questions about the Dungeons and Dragons campaigns that they run and about their characters. And that was really cool. It's always just nice like talking to them on like a human level and that that's always really fun to me and I enjoy conventions and I wish I could go to them more often but I don't um cuz they're expensive they're pricey but I really do enjoy going to anime conventions and doing cosplay and meeting actors and meeting other fans it's so it's so much fun so um anime Milwaukee 2017 was a blast, had a lot of fun, got to meet great people, got to cosplay again, and yeah. So that was Anime Milwaukee 2017. 
So pardon my fangirling and my rambling. I had a lot of fun, but uh, we did some other things too, but I'm not gonna talk about those because it's a little, we go to like some 18 plus panels that are, I'm not gonna talk about, but uh, those are always fun every year. Um, so yeah, that was that and Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, links to my social media are in the description below. Thank you to everybody that's been subscribing and watching my videos. Make sure that you guys check out my other channels and other videos that I've done. I'm gonna start creating some playlists because I'm uploading more frequently now, so hopefully you got some more stuff to watch. Um, other than that, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.